the stereo you're hearing the handling it's got a, uh, a kind of base that uh, comes in accessories uh, which you screw on the bottom that then removes the handling noise that you get when handling the recorder structure uh, which obviously is part of the overall structure with the built-in microphones the built-in microphones are set on a coincidental arrangement of 90 degrees so I put the uh, stereo microphone in front of me here um, so I'm in, a, in a way I'm recording behind the stere stereo arrangement if I bring it forward towards me uh, then of course I'm coming into the stereo recording range uh, in order to be bright in the stereo coincidental sound field I need to turn the machine around and if the sound recording on the machine is combined with the video you would have heard the handling there so if I then move forward with the stereo microphones in front of me I've got a bright coincidental arrangement from the front so I'm now using the video to record the interior environment which is a soft carpet surface and hard wall surfaces you can hear the whoosh of the air conditioning from the ducts uh, on the ceiling uh, which is also a hard surface now we're coming towards the door leading out of the media production part of the building uh, pressing the green button to, to get out moving into larger spaces there's more reverberation harder surfaces represented by the metal lifts and uh, the glass panels uh, moving out into the balcony and I suppose the side of the large atrium area and it's quite interesting here there seems to be a change in the acoustics uh, long soft carpet surfaces there's uh, furniture here which is soft uh, because we're moving into a larger atrium space the uh, reverberation the reflection of the sound waves uh, has longer to travel uh, so I'm moving towards hard glass surfaces uh, turning around using the video uh, colleagues coming down the stairs uh, bending Hello, over <laughs> saying something go on Tim jolly good um, referring to me um, if I move out um, towards the large atrium area looking down at the cafe area there are two colleagues having coffee down there uh, so it's quite an interesting sound acoustic uh, now I move the stereo arrangement away from me if I bring it towards me uh, that means there's a brighter field recording level in front of me as so we've got a situation here of soft absorbent surfaces the carpet the furnishings and harder reflective surfaces represented by I suppose the plaster um, the glass of the, the building um, but the sound waves have longer to travel, so the reflection, as it were, the, as it were, the reflection, as it were, the reverberation, uh, has a longer decay time, less echo, I suppose. Um, the closer you get to harder surfaces, uh, the greater re the reverberation and the potential detection of what we normally describe as echo. Right. Walking down the stairs now, stereo microphone field in front of me. Um, We've recorded about five minutes of video, uh, harder reflective surfaces. Uh, there's the glass atrium towards the right, and hard plaster surfaces uh, with an LCD screen to the left, uh, hard reflective glass and metal surfaces. Uh, the acoustic changing largely because of the more intense air conditioning at the front of the building and the ducts above, and moving out into the outside ambience uh, light breeze um, as you can see the microphone has a windshield which uh, will protect the stereo coincidental arrangement from the wind only up to a certain point uh, if the wind blows directly onto the microphone you'll get a low frequency whoosh as it were and, uh, uh, and that can interrupt uh, the quality of the recording so with the outside ambience, sound is being better absorbed. It uh, hasn't got anything to bounce against, to reflect against. So I'm uh, at the moment talking out towards large open space, 
and there's wind rustling in the leaves of the trees at the front. Uh, there is a building towards the left which does have obviously hard surface for reflection. You can probably hear the aircraft flying overhead. This area of London, New Cross, is directly underneath, uh, taxiing, um, queuing up flight paths for Heathrow Airport. Towards the right of the video picture, uh, the hard surfaces of the new academic building. So as I move towards the hard surfaces, um, we'll probably get a reflection, a uh, form of reverberation. The, the sound isn't being absorbed as much as it was when I was talking directly to the open air. Again, if I move left out towards uh, the open air, greater wind noise perhaps, um, the sound waves are not bouncing, reflecting. Uh, they're being you know, absorbed by the large open space, so there's uh, little reflection. But we can certainly hear the, uh, the wind noise, um, which despite uh, the presence of the windshield, is actually directly affecting the recording. So to compare with the uh, previous recording on the resource with Neil where we switch between microphones, uh, we're now uh, moving back uh, towards the entrance of the new academic building uh, using the coincident coincidental stereo microphone arrangement directly in front. The wind's picking up and that's uh, directly affecting the recording. And you can actually feel uh, with a more rapid acceleration because of the quicker movement uh, back into the building, uh, changing ambiences, going up the stairs. It's a quieter time of the year, there are fewer students because we're now in the vacation period. Uh, moving along the corridor, on the side of the atrium, some cooking noises from the cafeteria below. Atrium towards the left. Harder surfaces against the corridor on the right. Going into the lobby area with the metallic lifts. And um, this is the point where <laughs> this is the point where somebody's going to actually open the door which is quite helpful because this is a card activated entrance um, process. So that's very convenient. Somebody's opened the door so I can go through it uh, into the uh, production area. Uh, smaller, narrower corridors. Uh, low ceiling. Carpet on the floor, of course. Going towards the right, coming back into the radio production areas. And this is taking us back to where we finished up with the testing of the Zoom One and different microphone arrangements with Neil.